everyone, Jason here. Um, uh, over the Christmas New Year break, I've had sort of two weeks off work, so I've been trying to um, get through some of the uh, multiple sets and backlog. Um, done a fair bit, like we've cleared off a, a couple of shelves here. Uh, in fact, I've just hit 99 sets that have been uh, put together. So um, basically, we are about to hit set number 100, so I thought I would do something special for this one. So uh, we're about to grab set number 100 and, uh, and get building. So here is my choice for set number 100. It's a set that's exclusive to LEGO House. It is the Wooden Duck Tribute set. Comes in this lovely wooden box. Um, you can see that it's sort of, I think it's, it must be either uh, cut with a 3D printer or one of those burners that it has that very um, smoky wood um, smell. And if we can get this off, there we have the set inside. So uh, let's get that out of the outer box and have a look at it in more detail. Okay, so here it is out of the box. So it is uh, branded obviously Lego House Home of the Brick. It is set 40501, The Wooden Duck. It's a limited edition. I love the fact that it's got the uh, old school Lego logo. And then we've got a nice product shot on the front. Um, the top just has, again, Lego and the set number and then a one-to-one -one scale picture of the eyeball, uh, a printed piece. And then we have some duck facts on the side. So we have the wooden duck went on the drawing board in 1935 and was, and was produced until 1960. The duck was designed by Lego founder Ole Kirk Christensen. Uh, this exclusive Lego duck set is loyal to the original wooden duck and has a moving beak which opens and closes when the duck is pulled back and forth. So that's a picture of the original wooden duck. And then on the back, so it's got the Lego branding. It's got a picture of both the wooden duck and the uh, Lego representation of it. It's got a picture of the original wooden one being made. It's showing how it can go on the stand. It can show the pull feature where the mouth opens and closes. And then there is a little tail of the Lego duck. I'll, um, I'll just leave that up on screen so you can pause that and have a read of it. And then on the other side, just the same duck facts, I think. And then home of the brick and the bottom. The bottom just has the set number, a picture of the duck and legally choking hazard, etc. Uh, components made in Denmark, Hungary, China, Mexico, and the Czech Republic. Okay, so here's the set. So let's open this up. If I can... So we've got a numbered bag. So there's six, five, four, three. Two and one, and then there's some additional parts. Looks like maybe for the stand, some larger parts, and then we have the booklet. So let's have a closer look at that. So it has the uh, the bigger sort of manual. Um, has a little bit about Lego House wooden lego toys and a duck's tail so there's a bit of a story about the duck some more duck facts some uh, design schematics for the wooden one and pictures of the workshop and then yeah the uh, wooden duck from the museum and then the tree of creativity which has the duck built into it. And then obviously there's other little versions of the duck. 
and then we get on to the instructions proper. Now I'm assuming there's nothing at the back of this other than the piece count. Yeah, no other advertising at the back. And the back just has that really nice picture of the wooden duck with all the wear and tear and the, uh, the current Lego version. So let's put this set together. Okay, so here is the duck finished. So we've got a printed eyepiece. The wheels made out of bricks. Very simple mechanism inside to make the beak open and close. And then we've also got the stand, which has two rinted, uh, printed parts, uh, the wooden duck and Lego house. So that can stand on there. So the duck can freestand, so that's it underneath or you can lock it in place on the stand. I'll just take it off. And then for the pull feature, we've got a little pull string here. So you can see So all in all, it's a cool little build. It certainly looks like the duck. Good use of colors, lots of side building, and nice little display stand to put it on. So really happy with this set. And as my 100th build for my two week holiday, it's pretty fantastic. I love the little opening mouth. Um, it's a good display piece. The box that comes with is a really good display piece. 
And I've really got to give a big shout out and thank you to a friend of mine, uh, Michael Stock, who um, you may know as Cube Bricks um, from Aussie Brick Chicks uh, streams or Steve Reynolds TV streams. But uh, Cubed uh, had a hookup in Billund and he managed to get uh, three of them, I think, sent over for a couple of us here in Australia. So he did all the legwork. We just gave him some money by PayPal. And uh, no, it was really great. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, he will have a VIP tour of the Legatorium and the collection out here if he ever uh, pops into Longreach. So big thanks, Michael. Uh, photo up here somewhere. Um, but yeah, thanks very much. And uh, that was the 100th set. So I've still got to try to get another 50 at least knocked over in the next couple of days. Uh, go back to work on the 11th, which is next Monday. So uh, yeah, not long to go. So two days is, in two days times, it'll be two weeks in total. Um, so I've managed to get 100 sets done. Admittedly, I did cheat. I had some friends assisting me, um, but, but ultimately it gave me that sort of feeling of like I was uh, you know, brick man basically, because I had a team working on Lego around the clock uh, while I was working on some bigger sets, um, including the big uh, sort of uh, giant or ultimate uh, Darth Vader uh, picture. So check out my Instagram post if you want to see some of the uh, builds that I've done over the last uh, 12 days. Uh, and otherwise, that is the wooden duck from Lego House. See you later.